Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived here at the King Speedway, located in Hanford, California. Got a beautiful shot of this facility in the background. Got the track, got the grandstands, and tonight we are competing for $10,000 to win with the King of the West 410 Sprint Cars for the Anthony Simone Classic. And walking up to the track, I have to talk about how much weather the Central Valley here and the whole West Coast in general has experienced to kind of start 2023. Talking with Peter Murphy, he's really emphasized how soft the track has been the past couple of weeks, and at one point was even underwater so they kind of you know can't put much water on top of the surface so it's almost deceiving it looks slick but you know about six or eight inches down it is just soaking wet which means we could see the track do all kinds of things tonight hopefully it just kind of stays smooth and gets slick and uh, you know has a lot of opportunities to pass but gonna go do my pill draw now then we're gonna have pit meeting and then we're gonna roll into engine heat and get our first sprint car show in the books for this year laps back in a car just completed hot laps and qualifying here at King Speedway um, after our run which we were the 20th car out of 34 tens here we were fourth quick so that's a good start to our night we still have some more to go to see if we kind of get you know shook around anymore we did have a small issue you know building a new car you uh, first night out you're always getting the kinks you know and, and any problems solved and my shifter handle had an issue to where I couldn't get the car in and out of gear right there so uh, we're fixing it right now but so far like I said uh, felt felt great and um, I don't, I don't really know. It's just, it just felt great to be back in a sprint car, and I was, you know, a little nervous tonight about adapting. But as far as getting back up to speed and being back in a big race car, like it's all the same as it was before. So we'll see where it lines us up for a heat race, but a solid start to the night. So qualifying's all wrapped up. We managed to stay in the top 10, which is good because now we are set up on the front row of a heat race, and they're going to take the top two finishers directly into tonight's dash. You know, going later in qualifying, it's kind of nerve-wracking because you never know if the racetrack's going to stay there, if it's going to start to slow down, and if you even have a chance. But I believe one of the last uh, qualifiers actually topped the charts, which means the racetrack actually almost just got faster. So now we need to do our job going into this heat race. It's all going to be about, you know, winning the battle into turn one and getting a good start. If we can do that, it's only six lap so if we can just consistently get around the king speedway kind of get the jump the outside lane does appear to have more grip uh, just with how the racing surface is right now the bottom's just really dry and kind of crumbly so if we can fire off good not spin the tires and get down the front straight away i think we might be golden
things kind of keep on moving along. Uh, started outside front row there and won the heat race. Told you guys that grip was going to be key on the start and just kept a good pace. Our, our front row in general was kind of rolling at a good pace and the second I felt like I could get away with it, I kind of just started creeping and then we both kind of mashed the gas. Uh, got down the front straightaway. He, the inside car did kind of try to, I mean not even a full slide drop, but I saw him for a second and then I think he kind of just you know started sliding because the bottom has so many marbles. So I got going and I knew that that was going to be my ticket, but I uh, still need to work on those six laps. I think that was good. I'm getting more back in the swing of things in like more of a race mode than just going fast, but uh, just need to, you know, make less mistakes and keep the car a little bit more under control. And it's more difficult to do as the racetrack slickens off. But all that matters is we made the at t a little better. We're going to keep working on that. And now we're going to have a dash and we're going to start anywhere in the first five rows of it. So at best, we're going to start on the pole and at worst, we can start 10. We now have the at t of Tanner Holmes. Now I'm in order, you guys. We got it sorted. Tanner, go ahead, draw your number. We'll see where you're going to start. He's got the two outside, front row. All right. Get a good start. Go to the top. You get 10 pounds of bacon, so you better win it. So now the dash is complete, ended up starting front row outside, which is one of the most impressive uh, features probably of our night, just because usually I don't pull the greatest pills, but when I went up to pull, there was a two, and then it was like fifth on back left. So I'm, I pretty much in my head convinced myself, like I'm gonna be rolling off pretty far back here in the dash, and then I pulled a two, and I was probably one of the most surprised people out of everyone. But yeah, that really helped us. Uh, didn't get as good of a start as I, I needed to. I mean, it wasn't bad, but the pull sitter, since we're all kind of fighting for the top in the first corner, or we all thought we needed to, uh, they did kind of water the bottom right before which made it better But he had ran the middle and I just got tripped up above him And then I lost you know a spot or two and then from there everyone kind of just singled filed out And I don't felt like I lost a lot of ground on third. I still need to be better It's mainly just making less mistakes uh, just like the heat race just you know staying more settled down in the car The tracks a little fast down in one and two and it's much slicker in three and four But you still have a good pace But you do run both corners differently and you almost have to have your car a little different for both corners Which means at one end you have to deal with something whether it's being loose or tight but uh, with that run we're now going to start second row outside for the feature great spot good night so far we just need to try to capitalize make our race car better and then um, you know try to put together the best 30 lap feature we can but I also wanted to get these guys in the video what's your name buddy Blake and Mason thank you guys for stopping by tonight and wish me luck we have a um, we have a big a main ahead ten thousand dollars on the line and as I mentioned we're making our final adjustments and we just have a couple of races until we'll be rolling on track and then trust me um uh, on this track, so I've been here my whole life, this track, on the top it gets slick, so you might want to watch out. I will, definitely. He's, he's not lying, it's right on the very edge. You got this, hammer down. Let's rock and roll, guys. We're rolling off from four.
Well, we started fourth in the 18T, came home eighth. You know, you're never happy to drop back. That is definitely disappointing to start, you know, row two and um, come home, you know, a couple rows back. But I thought we ran okay once we got going and we have something to work towards. I figured that the double file restarts early if we had quite a few cautions, which we did, were going to be crucial to execute. And I just didn't. I got in a couple of difficult positions and sometimes we ended up three wide. And at one point I lifted the nose off the ground and got all out of sorts. So I just got to be better and more aggressive because it's almost feast or famine when uh, you know on, on those restarts because so much chaos happens I think maybe if we could have stayed a little farther up front early we wouldn't have you know dropped back as bad and, and faded at the end but still like I said um, we have something to work towards and I'm glad our first nights in the books uh, with this new car and you know we had some small victories we won our heat race you know, we got a good draw and got that dash experience and started up front but um, you know just know what direction we need to head now and how we can make our race car better and start building speed with our program for 2023 and especially in the 410 stuff uh, just so much competition Competition was here in the pit area today and these guys are going to make us better in order to run with them we got to continue to run with them and try to find as much speed as possible and I got to be as consistent as I can behind the wheel uh, to set that pace that those guys are you know up front so we are all loaded up Another obstacle that happened in the A-Main event that I don't think helped our cause, I made a little contact with the wall, the front stretch, uh, on lap three or four, and from that point on, my car kind of was leaning over a little bit. I think my right rear was going down because when we came in, the bleeder had came out of the axle, and we only had about five pounds in the right rear. So that probably made my job a little bit tougher, but no matter what, you know, tonight, just um, getting back in the swing of things, I made my fair share of mistakes. I think we now have a starting point now with our car too, and we just gotta keep building up. Promise I'm gonna get there, I, you know, I wish, like I said, our results would have been a little bit better on paper. But these guys with KWS, they are no joke. I think if I can just, you know, have a little bit more speed, a little bit faster pace under those green flag runs, and then, you know, nailing my double foul restarts and just being a tiny bit more aggressive, that's the difference between where we're at and, you know, racing for a podium and potentially a win. So now we have something to chase. Do want to thank Shane DeWald Trucking, Canopy Country, Fast Forward Media, Pit Stop USA, Earth Environmental, Vienendahl Trucking, Full Send Racing, D-Ray Design as well as Landon Transport, Lafarge, uh, Carson, Next Gen Death, ABC Powder Coating, RTR Diesel Performance, and then my crew, family, and all you great fans for supporting me. I guess uh, our 2023 sprint car season is officially underway.